Hello everyone, welcome to another photo diary. Uh, I'm still recovering from my operation, although it's going really well and I expect to get out and about with the camera next week. So because I haven't been out in the past week, we're going to go back in time again to June when I was in the cloud forest in Ecuador, a place I absolutely love. I had amazing experiences with toucans and some cock of the rocks. So I'm going to show you the favourite pictures from the week four in June, which I hope you'll like. I've got my special AHA Tour t-shirt on, look at that. I know you expect it like Metallica or like Motorhead or something, but I'm a, a, a man of the 80s and uh, I love, I harp into every single gig. Now, well, there we go, every single concert tour, I should say, not gig, that would be really obsessive. Right, uh, anyway, shall we get on? Let's do it. And while bunchers, just remember, you stay at the end for your bonus content. All right, here we go. All right, let's begin with the toucans. We had the most amazing experience. They came all around the lodge. It's built in the, in the forest, which is incredible. This is the Choco, which is the one I really wanted to see. And let's start off. It's not my favorite picture of the week. We're going to start off in reverse order, um, as we always tend to do. This is a look through. So I love looking through the forest uh, at any species I do. I love showing the habitat. I'm not into the big 600 millimeter, got to put it in the middle of the frame, can't have anything else in it. I don't want to do any of that. I want to show the habitat because the habitat is the most important thing in the picture, okay? Especially um, the cloud forest and especially the choco forest where uh, this uh, particular toucan lives. Now, I love this little window. I have to work really hard. I have to put my eye at the camera and duck and dive, which I'm a cockney, look through, try and get a fine pot AF point right through a gap in the canopy to focus on the species, and then of course I have to get some kind of interesting uh, behavior, which I think here with the head cocked to the side, it look quite, looks quite nice. It's nicely framed, I think, there, and it works very, very well. All these pictures are shot at ISO 3200, uh, because in the rainforest, it's uh, dark the whole time. Um, all right, nice one here. Again, exactly the same species. Really beautiful, simple picture. It's one of those things where you just sit for hours doing things, and then suddenly the light is boom, it's full on. This one, the light was amazing. Suddenly, it wasn't sunny or anything. It just was very soft and really, really beautiful. And the toucan sat there and we were like, oh my God, look at that. It looks absolutely incredible. I know it's a straight shot. I know it's in the middle of the frame. Uh, but there's nothing, you know, I couldn't do anything else with it. It was just a beautiful bird in a lovely habitat, in lovely light. And I think sometimes we try too hard, you know, to make the perfect picture because we're out there trying to please all these thousands of people on Instagram that we've never met in our life that might give us a like or not. Don't do that. Please yourself with the picture. Take a picture that you like. I've got it nicely balanced here with the composition. I think it works very well indeed. Cock of the rock. Well, I love Cock of the Rock. Uh, in the lek, it's the best thing you can have. We're just about to publish our photo diaries on Wild Bunch, and they've got uh, full of uh, some Cock of the Rock encounters, which is just fantastic. So here you can see I've shot it nice and wide, deliberately. Uh, ISO 6400 here, very low light. Um, uh, and that's okay, because I can get rid of that. Uh, but you look there, nice and uh, wide in the frame, lovely habitat. Again, it's a window look through. So if you look at the side down here and uh, around, you can see I've looked through canopy to get to it. It took me a fair bit to get it, um, but I really like it. Yes, there's that stick going across. I know a lot of people say, oh, it's annoying. It's not perfect. It's not on a perfect branch. Cock of the rock are never on a perfect branch, okay? If they're on a perfect branch, it's in a zoo, okay? They very rarely are on perfect branches. If you've got them and you've been out to do these, Brilliant. Uh, unfortunately, I never have. I've never got them on absolutely perfect conditions. I like them in the forest like this. I like them small in the frame like this, just showing how beautiful and they are. This is, of course, the, the red variety. Now, while we were at the lodge, we had really big rainstorms. And rather than running and thinking, I don't want to photograph it, as a good wildlife photographer, you should be embracing any bad weather conditions that there are, especially rain and snow, because they give atmosphere. Now, we were lucky that we had these uh, banded arasari here, uh, the, uh, the bleeding heart you can see, uh, really beautiful, um, absolutely amazing. In fact, it's probably not called the banded arasari. I call, I call it the bleeding heart because it's got this big bleeding heart on it there. Really beautiful little toucanette, so full of life and character. I really love them. They're also very dominant. They keep the big toucans away. So when they're in, the big toucans are not in. But in the rainstorm, when we were sitting there wanting to photograph something, and we did get quite a lot, they were amazing in the trees. And you're going to see in a minute uh, an even better one of this. 
You have to decide what shutter speed you use, you know, to get the rain like that, okay? I used, uh, where are we here, a 160th, okay? So a little bit blurred. I like to think of it a bit like The Omen. Have you seen the film The Omen? Uh, where you've got those lightning bolts when they take the picture of the guy that's about to get hit by the glass and they've got those blurred things. I like to think of it a bit, I'm weird, a bit like that, okay? So the slower shutter speed you do, the longer streaks you get. Otherwise, the uh, faster shutter speed you get the dots, of course. But I like the composition of this. I think it works really nice. I think it uh, just everything balances well. And I haven't tried to over-brighten it and over-process it because you are in the dark of the rainforest, okay? So, you know, you don't want to make it bright because it really wasn't bright, okay? It was just set with the surroundings. And so I like this. Nice pose. I think it works very, very well. We had another one uh, come and sit. This is actually sitting on a roof. So you can see just at the bottom there, there's the roof, which I've darkened off slightly, but I was looking into the dark, dark canopy beyond where there was no light whatsoever. Um, I really liked it. I thought it was quite an artistic picture, a very different picture. Um, I like the, the tilt of the head back, and it's a bit more artistic. You know, when I'm striving to do something, you know, I take a lot of nice, beautiful pictures of toucans, but I want to do backlit. Well, you can't do backlit generally in this kind of habitat because it's cloudy most of the time. So if I can't do backlit, I want to take something different, something slightly more atmospheric. I don't, I don't really just you know uh, uh, work so hard that I don't take any other pictures. But I'm always looking out for it, and that's the key. So I love this. Love the tilt of the head, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, my favourite picture from the week though was these two. They just sat in the rain. I've got hundreds of pictures and videos of these in the rain. And it's a fantastic way of getting out. It doesn't matter if you go out in your garden in the UK and do a robin in the rain. You've got rain every day uh, at the moment. Uh, so it doesn't matter what you do in the rain. You practice and you learn. And the best way to learn the picture that you like with the streaks and everything is to go and find something to practice on. Okay. Um, most cameras can handle a bit of rain, if not sh shoot from inside a hide or inside a house. I often shoot from my conservatory down here. Sounds very posh, but it's not. Uh, but I often do that because um, then I can just sit and be relaxed with a coffee and everything else um, and uh, play games and dream of seeing a horror again next year because they haven't toured for two years and we're all missing them. Um, but anyway, I love this picture very much. Got a nice space around it, nice composition. Uh, and I love the interaction between the two Arasari. It works so well, I think. All right, now I'm going to now show you a uh, um, a short video clip, a collection of video clips of what we shot in Ecuador because we're running our, our tour next year to the Cloud Forest and we'd love some of you to come because it's amazing. You get brilliant pictures and we're there to help you uh, all the time. Uh, it's an incredible trip. See some of the highlights here. Wild Bunchers, you are going to see your bonus content after this. All right, so uh, bye for now, everyone, and see you soon. And thanks for watching.